Hello everybody and welcome back to part five Yeah, I think <laughs> So on the previous video I was trying to solve this puzzle and I broke the game again and got stuck. So there we are, back at it, and I've got a funny feeling this is going to take me some time to figure out. <laughs> so let's see how long it takes. Right, R1 changes that to that. Yes, I know that. Um, which I don't think we need to change just yet. So I think that's going to be there. Because if that comes down there, I assume it's going to have to push that out of the way. Or we can turn that. Who knows. I do think I've got to be in this side first. That alters that, but we can't move that because that's in the way. Well, let's put that one back. Oh. I believe we'd have to get that to come down here, then go along there. So we've got to get that through into there. Ah! Six and a half hours later. We're all going to die! Okay with me. You first. <laughs> Okay, come on. Now, where have I got to go? I've got to get up there. Yeah, it's a landing. I wish that had shut up. Don't you dare! Uh, what the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. <laughs> Did you find the container? Yeah. I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Hey! Ooh! Holy fuck! It's going ape shit. It's enraged. We gotta run before it. Hang on! Yeah. I didn't think it would just kill it. God damn it! Ooh. Careful. Are you alright, dude? Oh fuck! My leg. You okay, buddy? Yeah. We did it. Free me, like. Free me, like. Get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! Ooh. No! Help me! Get it off me! Dude! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming! Plants are getting their revenge! Oh, shit! The fucking canister! Oh. Well, it's something! Ah, no shit, so that's where they are coming from. Crispy crap! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! Yeah! Right. Holy 
shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. So, what will it be, Major? Uh, Weapons or ability? Let's see what abilities we've got. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, this way. This way, this way, this way. Okay. Hi! Go away, let's just ignore you. Well, oh, shit. Run, what the hell? Where am I? I'm stuck. Don't get stuck now. I think I need a shotgun now or something. I need some help. Whoa, what the hell are you? Oh dear, this is going not well. Where? Don't get st come on. Oh. oh dear, that's not good. Let's get that first. Hey, Rocket Man! Right, shotgun. You too. Right, axe for you. Right, that went better. Past me. Oh, hello. Whoa. Yeah. I remember you. Whoa. What's happening here? There's two one. Oh, Rocket Man's back. Oh, you're trying to be nasty and trap me in, are you? I mean. Behave you, son, a minute. Behave you, son. Whoa, what's happened to my shield? Oh, I didn't change it, did I? I died. I knew that. Damn it! No. What's happened to me? Shotgun. Just get my shotgun back out, please. Damn it! Oh, I mean, come on! Much, much later. Why aren't you... Why aren't you using the L? I've told him to do that.
Neither do I. God, that shouldn't have been that difficult. Finally, a bit of progress. I'm going to need axe out for a bit. Right, let's get out of here, man. Oh, dear. Charles. They didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol. Although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. Isn't it just? Still hanging around there, bud? Oh, we've still got another canister. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. Mm. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The Cold pests have been eliminated and the birch tree has returned to normal. Take it, that's going to be cold because it's blue and it's got a snow symbol on. Fetch quests, I mean, rarely. I can hear a dandelion. Oh, she's a twat. Well, I've got lost. I followed the signs for the cold workshop. Cold. That way. Look. Cold workshop. That way. Okay. Now where then? I've gone that way. It's not down there. Oh, is it bloody Hogwarts? We have to run through the wall. That's just a whale room. You have a whale of a good time in here. Alright. So, it's not there. There's no more signs. Kill a chicken. We're going, still going round. They're still holding a seance. Right. There's no signs in here about a cold workshop. One hour later. Well, I'm an idiot. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. I have been running round <laughs> for a good thirty minutes. Trying to get to the cold cold workshop. I've already got the canister on me. 
What an idiot. I can't believe that. Oh. Overthinking it. Rather elevator up. Right. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. We got there eventually. I, I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Okay. We are making progress. Charles, how did Charity's a die? Under mysterious circumstances, Doctor Sechenov is the only uh, one who knows the details of his demise. Can't mysterious believe that. circumstances, huh? Doctor Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened. He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, mm. even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sure Sometimes does. cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. How many levels but we go, we know? Professor Zaharov had known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous. He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. It's a very wide elevator. Floor's ready for a clean. Come on, man. I'll be doing something. Oh, power's good. I could have sworn that were opening. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. Mm. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Access granted. Saving data. Wait a second. Well, that one generates a We have a load of dandelions. What is that? That's a dandelion. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level 1 alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level 2 alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. So what you're saying is, I should not have just attacked these robots? How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Oh. Yeah. So if it sees me attacking, so if I don't attack, are these ca oh my god, 
Um. Just get past him and let it. Do it still for Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terish Kovas, as they operate autonomously, and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terish Kovas. Yeah. At least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. Ah! Oh, damn it. I hate quick time events. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Well, it was though. What's that? Oh. Uh-oh. Chickens, fuck off! Whoa, hello! Whoa! Oh, really? <laughs> Don't worry about it, dude. to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Such an offset I needed to hurry. A frontal assault. Oh. Are you gonna be my friend? Oh, just gonna ask if you're gonna be my friend. Probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Everybody. <laughs> oh. Um, um, uh. 
Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. It's there. How does one get up there? Oh, okay. Yes, go. device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking sure into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Mm. Granny? Ah. Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? No. Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute <laughs> little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Yeah. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Where are we going? Ah. That's where we're going. Um. Oh, well, uh, I thought I'd seen some that. Listen. Ivan, toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called the Neva Lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sandlin, along with the lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? I just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there. Sending signals to ships, and now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, <coughs> could you talk to him a little bit <coughs> now and then? Well, have a good shift. Must be Granny's up. Hello. Oh, kadoink, kadoink. No soul. Hi. Can I help you? They remind me of a big daddy for some reason. Must be all the eyes. Hey, super grand. That fucking bot almost killed me. That's one cool transformer. <laughs> well, I 
I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Oh, a cute little uh, pet okay. house. Nice TV. <laughs> What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. Is that an to say we should have been watching the cartoons? Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Setchin of so I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry Corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of... Are it. you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical <laughs> toys, Comrade Sechenov. It's so cute. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population, the launch of the collective neural network, Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the war. Mm, they're combat not going mode. to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov. Are you sure about that? Some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the Politburo has come to a decision, and I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Crystal. Comrade Sechenov? Mm. Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get There's access to this? a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Mm. Fat boy rockets. Instead of spending willy nilly. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? 
You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've oh. got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Roger that. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. Cheerio. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Will do. Charles, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Right, let's try this again. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Oh, uh. What's it doing exactly? We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Oh, so we want the camera near the gates. Yeah? No? Yeah. I don't see anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while I Okay, let's open the gate. Here we go.
if you can get in that house. Oh, it looks like there might be some wicked goodies. We're going down the orbit. Ooh. Astrologers announced a week of atomic heart. The number of enemies has doubled. Just do one, dudes. Oh, just leg it, 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 leg it and die, leg it and die, leg it and die. Well, so much for the uh, stealth.
Fá pissa. Off the main road. Oh, I was just about to say about this loads of hidden treasure up there. We're still using outside crackers. Um, I thought maybe there should be some in here. Magneto mode. Ah, I'll save that there and resume tomorrow.